All right, I'm going to do a uh, quick demonstration on the uh, Litchi app for Android and the PS, excuse me, the Phantom uh, 3. And uh, I'm not going to explain, I'm going to go through the waypoints. I'm not going to explain everything that's available in the waypoint mode. Uh, that would be uh, rather long. And right now I'm connected uh, to, the, uh, to the Phantom 3. I'm just going to go ahead and run and through uh, a couple of the items that are available in the waypoint uh, mode and give you a general idea or of an overview of what it's capable of. So first I'm going to go ahead and switch it over. They Litchie calls it ground station. I'm going to switch over to ground station. That's going to give me a map overview and uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to go ahead and I like to set the waypoints, all of the waypoints first. Uh, and then go back and edit them and uh, add in the different things that I want the uh, Phantom to do at every uh, particular waypoint. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit more. There's the park that I'm in. I'm going to go ahead and set a few waypoints here rather quickly. Uh, one pretty close. I'm going to set another one. Another one. Another one. Another. Have it come back a little. Come back going to have it do a little change here and then come back close to where uh, I started from. I always like to set that last waypoint close to where I took off uh, because I always have the last waypoint set up to where the uh, Phantom 3 uh, doesn't do anything. It just hovers wherever it uh, ends up. doesn't automatically land. So what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to use a uh, point of interest to get the uh, Phantom 3 to focus at certain waypoints on this point of in interest. So it's going to be the icon in the upper right hand corner with a yellow plus next to it. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. That'll allow me to place that uh, point of interest uh, anywhere that I want it. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it right over here. So that's going to be the point of interest. And I'll go ahead and modify that first. I'll bring that up by clicking on it again. And uh, I can go ahead and set the altitude that I want the gimbal to focus on. Right now it's pretty much at ground level. I'll go ahead and bump that up uh, to about 13 feet. Uh, there's nothing at that point of interest, so it's not going to be that... Uh, breathtaking or anything like that. It's not going to focus on anything in particular, but it'll give you a general idea of what it's capable of. So I'll go ahead and X out of that. Oh, and by the way, let me just mention one thing here. On the upper left-hand corner, that X in the upper left-hand corner is how you get rid or delete any particular point of interest or waypoint. That X is going to be available under the waypoints as well, so that's how you get rid of them. I'm going to click on the upper right hand X just to close that box and I'm going to go ahead and go through these waypoints and edit each one and uh, how you start out that is by clicking I start on the first waypoint just clicking on it well and that brings up that particular menu so uh, I'm going to go ahead and back up one this starts with the first waypoint I'm going to back up one that's going to show me my overall mission settings for this particular ground station uh, map so uh, heading mode, you can set that, get the uh, how you want the Phantom 3 to uh, face while it's going from waypoint to waypoint. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that over to, I'm going to leave it on waypoint defined. Uh, finish action, right now I have that as none. I'm going to go see if I can slide this map and get that a little bit better view. I have that set as none, so that's what it does on the last waypoint. It's not going to land or return to home or anything like that. It's just going to hover at the last altitude. Path mode, it can be curved, so you get nice, smooth uh, motions between each waypoint. Uh, rather than hit a waypoint, turn, and move, it's going to do a curve, uh, continual flyby. Uh, I have it set as straight lines because I want to do the point of interest mode, and the only way you can do that is with straight lines. Cruising speed is what the uh, Phantom 3 is going to fly at from waypoint to waypoint. I have it set at about 6 miles per hour, which I think is pretty good uh, for a small area. Remote control speed setting, that's in case I want to adjust the speed manually with the sticks uh, on the controller. It'll give me up to that maximum speed. So default curve, don't need that. Uh, default 
gimbal pitch mode. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch that over to focus point of interest because uh, I want to focus on that point of interest. Uh, or actually, excuse me, I'm going to disable it and then I think I can set it up later, pretty sure. Uh, rotation direction, uh, it'll be managed by the app based on what I wanted to do at that particular waypoint. I'm going to go ahead and go to the first waypoint. It's set at 100 feet. That's pretty good. Uh, which way I want the uh, Phantom 3 to be pointed at that particular waypoint. I'm going to go ahead and go east. And, okay, gimbal pitch. We're going to go ahead and leave that at disabled through several of these. This first, uh, go ahead and leave it like that. My first waypoint, I'm just going to get it up off the ground and to 100 feet to the first waypoint. Moving on to the second waypoint. That, one thing I kind of don't like in its personal preference is that as you move waypoint to waypoint, it doesn't default to going to the top of this list. It stays where it's at. Like I said, that's just personal preference. Some people will want to edit just one attribute. Maybe they'll just want to edit the altitude and it's staying wherever you were looking prior to that is going to work out for them. So I'm going to go ahead and leave all of these pretty much at 100 feet. Uh, and then this particular one, I had that point of interest set up. I'm going to go ahead and have the gimbal pitch change to that focus on the point of interest. So it's not only going to face that point of interest, and you can kind of see my waypoint 2 is now even on the map facing my point of interest, but it's also going to do its best to adjust the gimbal, the focus, uh, at 13 feet above the ground at that distance, which you can see is a 35 degree angle. So scroll through this, go to the next waypoint. This one, I'm going to go ahead and change the gimbal pitch to focus on the point of interest as well. Leave everything else like it is. Going to go forward to the next waypoint. This next waypoint, number six, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Actually, yeah, so I'll leave everything like it is. What I'm going to do is, is I want at waypoint five, in case I said six, waypoint five, I want to do pause and take a pano 365 degree uh, set of photos at that particular waypoint. So Litchi has it set up to do that easily under actions. I can click on that rectangle box with the lines through it and it'll automatically give it the right commands to move at certain increments and take a photo in order to make uh, a panel photo of 360 degrees. So I'll click on that. And then as you can see, it's going to go ahead and give it the correct commands to rotate, take a photo, rotate, take a photo, and then it'll move on. Uh, going to go ahead and leave everything else like it is. Go to waypoint six. And what I'll do is I'll get it to change directions and face west. Uh, and you can see now at waypoint six, even as I move this, it's going to change uh, on the screen as I change the setting. So I'm going to go ahead and go to waypoint 7. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up a series to focus on the point of interest. So everything else looks good. Go to the waypoint 8. Also get it to focus on the point of interest. And also go to the waypoint 9 and we'll get it to focus on the point of interest. So uh, the two main things that I'm looking at here are to take a panel photo and also to demonstrate ground station uh, going to a uh, point of interest. So I have all of those set. I'm gonna go ahead and close that box. And then what you wanna do on the left-hand side, you can click on the little play icon and it'll give you a breakdown of the altitude. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Uh, and it's going to show me all of the... Uh, I could scroll over. Well, I get 9 on there, but uh, there's 10. So it's going to show me all of them are set at 98 feet. The estimated flight time is about 3 minutes. And the total distance that I'm covering is 1,319 feet through that flight mode. It's not going to take very long to uh, fly this. So 
Uh, I'll also mention one thing that right now I do not have it set up in settings to automatically launch. So it's going to require me to launch this and go up, I believe at least the how I have it set, set is about 16 feet. And then I'll be able to switch over to the F as in Frank mode. So before I uh, press on go, I'm going to go ahead and start up the rotors. 96% battery. So I'm looking okay there and I'm going to go ahead and launch it here. Fighting a little bit of wind, it's probably blowing, uh, I'd say, about five to seven miles an hour. I'm going to go ahead and get it to go out here a little bit and go up. Everything looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and get it close to the 98 feet there. So and I'm going to go ahead and leave up the overall map view so you can watch it on the map as it flies around. I'll bring the gimbal down just a little bit and leave the uh, the uh, photo or the camera view on the lower right hand corner. So I'm going to go ahead and click on go and it's going to go ahead and upload this to the Phantom 3. Oh, yeah. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Change it over to uh, the uh, switch in the upper left hand. 94% battery. The left hand corner, upper left hand corner of the control and move that to F as in Frank mode. Now I'm going to bring up the play button and uh, be able to upload this. So now it's going to go ahead and fly that flight. It's going to turn as I uh, wanted it to. going to fly to this next waypoint and then it's going to try to focus in uh, on this point of interest. It's going to go ahead and move the gimbal down you can see there. So it focused in on that point of interest as it flies to the next waypoint. 90% battery. It's going to keep focused on that point of interest and you'll see it match up with waypoint three, how that's facing. So that's worked out really good. It's going to go ahead and stay on that point of interest while it flies to uh, waypoint four. I'll zoom in a little on the map here. Still staying on that point of interest. flying at five miles per hour. So here's where I have it taking the photographs at uh, waypoint five. 86% it's battery. And it's going to take another photo. It's going to rotate some more. Take another photo. Rotate again and take another photo. You cannot have it in video mode. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to rotate and not take photos. I believe that should be the last. Maybe one more photo. Nope, that's it, and it's going to fly to waypoint 6. And you're going to see when it gets to waypoint, as it gets to waypoint 6, it's going to rotate. It's going to want to face the direction at waypoint 6 that I set it to. Which is going to be the west in this case. It's going to 81% battery. continue on to waypoint 7. I'll move the gimbal a little bit. You see, make a little turn here and then focus down on that point of interest, which I have set at 13 feet. And it's going to maintain a focus on that point of interest while it's flying uh, to waypoint 9.
and then it's going to come up on waypoint 10 and it's just it's going to do nothing is how I have it set it's just going to go ahead and hover there uh, if you didn't have control of it it would hover until it went to critical battery and then it would automatically land uh, or excuse me I believe it would actually return to home at that particular point and then uh, land so that's going to be a uh, quick demonstration of the uh, Litchi app for Android. 76% battery. And the Phantom 3 and uh, the ground station, as it's known in, in Litchi. But DJI is now calling that waypoint mode. And uh, it was demonstrating two particular features of ground station in the Litchi app. And that's the ability to focus on a point of interest. And then also to be able to take a pano set of photos uh, at any particular waypoint. So I hope that was helpful to you. If you do have any questions, and actually I just thought of one that somebody's going to be asking in the comments. So I'll mention it now. Uh, this always gets asked. I'm doing a screen capture on the uh, NVIDIA Shield. It has a native app uh, built in to automatically capture the screen. So that's what I'm using here. So if you do have any other questions or any comments, feel free to leave that information in the uh, section below, and uh, I'll try to get back to you on that. Thanks very much for watching. 72% battery.